Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to do a stitch that you're going to find very useful. It is used for things like putting stays together where you have a finished edge to a finished edge. It's used in 18th century uh, sewing frequently for underwear where they have narrow goods that are made specifically for shifts and shirts and the selby judges are butted together versus seamed together. It's also used for men's clothing, heavy broadcloth work for women and men, of course, where they butt the broadcloth together because they don't want the bulk of a seam. And it's used in work bags. If you'd like to make this work bag, stay tuned because we're working on a new sew along. So I have a work bag that I've been working on here and I'm going to demonstrate to you how I do a butt seam. This work bag has a finished edge, two finished edges, and all I'm gonna do is seam it together and that will finish it off. You're basically doing a very tiny whip stitch and you're doing it very close to the edge. You're literally just catching the edges making the stitches tight together. You want to have a teeny tiny little whip stitch. So just to show you what the stitch looks like when it's done, it creates this little tiny seam with little angled stitches. So here you see our beautiful butt seam. We hope you enjoy using it and maybe enjoy saying the word Oh, we're sorry. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned as always for other wonderful content um, as we roll out new things every couple of weeks. If you like what you see, please like us and please subscribe so you'll know when we put up new content. Thanks for sewing with us.